go to Shell Tron here. You can call me Shells, and I'm back, back, back at again with a brand new video. And I'm gonna keep it a bow berry biscuit. Scotty Fit has been going crazy this offseason. He has not missed yet. Hold the tweet right here from Tom Pelissero saying for the Panthers and wide receiver David Moore, it's a two-year deal worth $4.75 million with $1.25 guaranteed per source, a reunion with GM Scott Fitterer, who was with Moore in Seattle, and an opportunity to take on a bigger role. Now, first things first, the deal, two years, $4.75 million, but only $1 million guaranteed. How do you actually do this? How do you actually get David Moore on a $1 million deal? Now, it's probably going to be at least $2 million, right? I think he's going to be able to hit some incentives to make it up to at least $2 million, but $1 million a year for David Moore is huge. And I know what you're thinking. The biggest thing you know about David Moore is the biggest thing you know about Corn Elder. It was 2018. We were playing the Seahawks and Corn Elder had to come in. He got his number called and then Russell Wilson's eyes lit up. He said, oh, buddy, that's you. That you the one I'm picking on for the rest of the night. And Corn Elder just did not play even remotely good. That was why I was so glad he played so well. This year, he played like an all-pro compared to his last couple years here in Carolina. In 2018, he was getting bullied. Like, he was getting singled out. Russell Wilson was bullying him. I had no idea who David Moore was. I'm sure there were some Seahawks fans who had no clue who David Moore was. But after that night, I found out expeditiously who this man David Moore is. And he's actually a pretty good receiver. I'm not going to go so far as to say very good or obviously not even great. But David Moore is a guy who can play a role for the team. Now, later on in this tweet from Tom Pelissero, he says, an opportunity to take on a bigger role. Well, let's go ahead and look at what David Moore's role was on the Seahawks. Look, we all understand when it comes to Seahawks, there's a certain pecking order for Russell Wilson's passes. One... Tyler Lockett. Two, DK Metcalf. Now, Tyler had 132 targets and DK had 129. So, obviously, Russell wants to make sure that both these guys feel like they're getting pretty even numbers of, uh, of, of receptions and uh, attention from him. Now, how many targets do you think David Moore had? 75? 60, maybe? David Moore had 47 total targets. Number one on the team, 132. Number two on the team... 129. David Moore caught 35 out of the 47 total targets that came his way. And I kind of feel for him because in Tom Pelissero's tweet, he says this is an opportunity to have a bigger role on the team. On the Seahawks, even though there was a huge disparity between his numbers and Tyler and DK's numbers, on the Panthers, I mean, look, we have Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, and let's not forget, our third leading receiver is going to be Christian McCaffrey. So here, he's going to be the fourth option on the team. And look, we can talk about how third and fourth are not all that different. But let's be real here. It's not going to be a situation where he's going from being David Moore in, in Seattle to being Curtis Samuel in Carolina. I'm not even talking about just their skill sets, which are very different anyway. But he's not going to be getting a much huger role. Now, he may have better proportions of the targets than he had in Seattle with two guys getting 130. He has 47, but I don't think he's going to have as big of a role as maybe Tom Pelissero is predicting here. David Moore is a good receiver. He is going to be our fourth option, and honestly, he may be contending and competing for that fourth option spot because number one we do still have Omar Bayless who got injured in training camp and he's one of these guys who's been a sleeper kind of dude who was looking very good in training camp haven't seen him but he could be someone who emerges in the depth chart and number two we did just sign a tight end and don't get me wrong I'm not saying all this to make it sound like David Moore won't be a very productive member of this passing attack that we're going to see from Joe Brady in year two. This is going to be a year where Joe Brady might try to pull out all the stops so he can, you know, try out and audition for a head coaching job somewhere else. This is as much of a tryout for him as it is some of these other guys wanting to look good and get the numbers up for the league itself. So there's also that at play if Joe Brady can get a guy like David Moore, who was third fiddle in Seattle, to come into Carolina and integrate him into the system in his first year, then how will he look as a head coach? Other GMs, other teams are watching that, and I'm sure David Moore may have a chance to capitalize 
off of that. But looking at his numbers here, you can just see he's never really had a huge season, but he's always been pretty steady. He's always had decent enough numbers to be a role player on a team. He had six touchdowns just this past season. Now, with Teddy Bridgewater throwing passes to him, I don't know how that's going to work out for him. But I think that David Moore will be a good enough player on this Panthers roster to still make a difference while not being a superstar kind of player. This is a good pickup. We need more options, need more weapons, and this is a very cheap pickup to replace a guy like Curtis Samuel who did more but was going to be way, way, way too expensive. That's how I feel about it, man. What are your thoughts on David Moore, the pickup, Scotty Fitt, and Fantasy so far? What will his role be? What number receiver will he be? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And you already know what to do with that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.